this tutorial and in GIMP we're going to be making a cloud rainbow effect in GIMP and this is actually a beginner's tutorial because I figured I haven't been doing very many beginner's tutorials and I'm sorry for the lack of tutorials lately this uh, cams cam studio which is the recording program that I use has been very buggy and it crashed every time I recorded something longer than like a minute so um, I'm back and ready to go so what we're going to do is open up a new image. 640 is good. Ooh, why are those so many up there? Alright. <clears throat> uh, fill it in with white. That's good. And uh, we're going to take the uh, abstract 2. And on the mode uh, abstract 2 with the gradient shape on radial. <clears throat> and we're just going to stroke out like that I think is good and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer below this so we're going to move that down and we're going to go filters render clouds solid noise we're going to turn the detail all the way up to 15 and then just click OK put this layer mode on overlay a layer mode is basically where um, it depends on the transparency of the mode so you can have on screen or divide or multiply just cool effects that you can do <coughs> I'm going on overlay but you can put it on dodge or burn <coughs> or hard light or soft light or basically anything difference addition but I'm gonna go with overlay Alright, <clears throat> and now what we're going to do is we're going to go colors, uh, hue, saturation, and we're going to turn up the saturation on this layer quite a bit, and click OK. This just makes the colors a little bit brighter. <clears throat> uh, now what we're going to do is on this layer, since it's an overlay layer, we're going to take our ink tool and make these little dots all over the place. make a new layer above it and we're going to put these dots again I like that I think is good and put the layer mode on uh, value no put the layer mode on put the layer mode on uh, soft light I think that I think that looks best <clears throat> it sort of is like a cloudy effect. Make a new layer above this and go filters, render, clouds, uh, solid noise again. And we're going to turn the detail on this layer up. And then the um, Y size lower. So about 10 and 2. And click OK. I'll start rendering that. Alright, <clears throat> now this basically ruins everything you did because you can't see anything. But it's not all gone. See, if you click the eye, it's the visibility. We're going to go colors, color balance. And we're going to increase the blue just by a touch, like that. About 55. <clears throat> That's good. And we're going to go colors, um, levels. And we're going to increase the white. Or sorry, increase the white in the layer which if you look at these white places it really makes them show out and then increase the black so bring all these really close together which really just brings out the image and then the gray we'll put it down like that that's good and click OK now what we're gonna do is put the layer mode on 
and we're gonna put the layer mode on grain merge <clears throat> that's good and that just makes it sort of darker um, I, I just like the effect I think it's a pretty good effect <clears throat> and now for our final touch we're just gonna make a new layer above everything again and fill it in with black the whole thing again this looks like you put everything away but if you just put the layer mode on uh, dodge it makes everything go away we're gonna put the layer mode uh, color on white with a fuzzy brush and the opacity around uh, 18, 10, 7, about 7, 8 and pretty big fuzzy brush uh, maybe not that big and credit goes to Moon Son Sami for this uh, effect I like it and we're just gonna color wherever there is a bright brightness just to increase this just to bring out a lot of the colors I think And you can color to your heart's delight, just making every area more brighter than it was before. If you click a lot in one place, it sort of gets this glowy effect. I, th I, I think I like this. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. Maybe turn the opacity a little bit down, but I actually think I like that. We're going to click flatten image, and all your work is done. And that is how you make your own rainbow cloud effect in GIMP. Thanks for watching this tutorial.